Hello everyone, you're here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the uh, Jedi and Clone Troopers Battle Pack, which was just released. So on the front of the box here is the LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, the Last Jedi border of it, the whole set in action. It's recommended ages 6 to 12, set number 75206, has 102 pieces. And click to the back, you see. And another pose the features of it and the website and the app. Now to the booklet. The same pictures on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then a uh, list of the pieces included, the like app for Lego Life, and then the like steps. <coughs> right. So uh, is who you get two of in this set is freaking clone troopers. So you have some good torso printing like all the other clone troopers and whatnot have. And then have a play with a stud shooter there. And then underneath the helmet is the inner clone face, which works with the clone troopers, but not for the storm troopers and everything. And there's one in the back. And here's Keon Moody. Who, who of course we haven't seen in quite some time. But his uh, torso printing and face printing, pretty good. But like the top headpiece, also nicely sculpted. And there is his back head printing and back torso printing. But of course, in the original rumors, it was supposed to be a uh, Coleman Trot arc. I wish they could have used that in this set as well, but whatever. And then, last but not least, is Barazofi, who also haven't seen in quite some time. I think the last time was probably uh, 2012 Geonosian Canon. But this one's uh, torso printing and face printing, which are done pretty well. But in, but also, like from the Malach's Landspeaker set, is the new lower uh, skirt piece. But the same attachment point as the legs do. Yes, the like back or double sided face and back printing. And on to the main build of this set. So, this from first glance, it's just about like a mini Republic gunship kind of set. Well, the chorus. Is. But like, so as the front of which has a couple of like stud shooters with the blue studs in there, and then have one of those like things acting as a canopy cockpit, which does open up quite nicely. And then I see how the little wings that have a couple of gun turns on them, but which do fold up and down. But like the back of which, one of the wheel-like pieces, and a common design for most Star Wars sets. So, and then underneath it is one of the wing flat pieces that holds the whole thing. But a couple of the like uh, uh, roller type uh, pieces, like what some bow back sets have, and probably haven't done in quite some time, or a couple years actually. And to make it a new for a round on the ground. So it's probably like a flying and ground version of the like Republic gunship. But also a good amount. But also some good space to like fit a clone trooper mini thing onto it. 
can close it up like so. But I think maybe uh, I think a little lever down there could would have been all right, or even to the sides. I think they could have worked. Well, you can add some if you want, and maybe another red piece up here for to fill in the gap there. And, yeah. and now on to the final verdict. So my overall verdict is, I think this is a pretty good set. Even though the only reason to buy multiples of these is for the clone troopers, but like the two Jedi mini things, which is, makes this one kind of a setback. But I don't know, it is what it is. But and if you're looking to pick up this set, then go ahead and pick it up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.